Hello, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a reading for the sign of Aries. If you or the person that you are cross-watching for has Aries anywhere in their chart, then this reading may or may not resonate with you. This particular Aries opens up this reading with making a decision. This is a judgment call right here. This decision with the Prince of Wands makes this Aries feel extremely excited. Right? This is, a, this is an, a card of energy and passion, action, adventure, and some lust. Okay, So this decision right here makes this particular Aries just super exuberant and excited about a love relationship because this particular Aries has made choices in regards to love and is about to bring forth mess messages of feels to their person. The Six of Swords says that this particular Aries has had a mental transition which has required a good bit of inner strength and courage. This decision with the Judgment card about a love relationship with the lovers right there is all about teamwork and collaboration with the Three of Pentacles. It's all about a love relationship with the Two of Cups and it's about planning for their future with the Two of Wands. This particular Aries feels very happy very victorious in the situation and they see things crystal clear at this particular time what do they see crystal clear they see the purpose for their life crystal clear with the temperance card the princess of pentacles says that this particular aries is going to manifest a new opportunity with the nine of pentacles being a culmination to the decision making process the Empress comes in and says that this particular Aries is ready to create abundance in their life. If you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. Namaste. Hi Taurus, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is a little short read about how Taurus is feeling today. If you have Taurus anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for somebody that has Taurus in their chart, this reading very well may resonate as well. Okay, if you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. You Taurus, the Taurus I'm connecting with, is opening this reading in the High Priestess. This High Priestess tells me that you, Taurus, have been sitting down and contemplating very, very deeply, searching your soul, weighing the pros and cons, and really just having a good old-fashioned sit down with your intuition, your subconscious mind, and the High Priestess. The sit down with the high priestess is all about hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life with this star card right here. So with this high priestess, you were sitting down and, and contemplating life, the purpose of your life, your hope, your faith, renewal, right? You're, you're asking the universe to help you out right here. Ten of Wands tells me that your struggle has been real. Your struggle is real, but that it's almost finished. You're almost there, and it's almost over. The Princess of Swords says that you are formulating a thought pattern. You're making a plan, <clears throat> which is what you decided to do back here in the High Priestess as well. You're making a plan to reach your Ten of Cups, right? For harmony and happiness in your life. You're making a plan. Five of Swords comes in and says that you are open to change. Okay? Yes, this sword is about a bunch of negativity, dis I'm sorry, um, uh, conflict, tension, loss, defeat, betrayal, shady behavior in general. But this sword on the flip side, this Five of Swords on the flip side, I'm so tired, I'm sorry, is about being open to change. So you're open to change. Because you're open to change, the Wheel of Fortune manifests in this reading. This wheel is a new life cycle, an old life cycle ending, and a new life cycle beginning for you, a turning point in your destiny, right? Because, because you are walking away from the conflict and you're open to change, because you sat down with the High Priestess, because you negotiated happiness, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal in your life, 
because you have formulated a plan to achieve happiness and, and values alignment and harmony in your life, the wheel is turning for you. The universe sees that you've put forth the effort and you've learned whatever it is that you need to learn prior to this reading and the gate is opening and you are being allowed to move forward. <clears throat> this three of swords right here. This is about, of course, heartbreak, right? But on the flip side of this card, it's about releasing pain and having optimism. Having optimism to create a brilliant future for yourself with the Eight of Pentacles, to gain mastery of your, of, of, of your being, right? This Four of Pentacles tells me that based on this Eight of Pentacles, you will no longer be in a state of lack. You will no longer be in lockdown. This Eight of Pentacles, this wheel, is going to free you to move forward and have a prosperous life. Four of Swords down here. This Four of Swords tells me that, you, um, that you've come to terms that you've come to terms with choices in your life with this lover's card right here. You've come to terms with choices in your life and you're also resting in harmony because of the choices that you've made in your life. This, the choices that you've made, the wheel, everything I just talked about right there is integration, completion, and accomplishment of a life cycle and you are about to move forward into a new life cycle. The Nine of Wands tells me that you have courage, you have persistence, and you have resilience. Judgment call comes in and says that this is a judgment call, judgment card, judgment call. This is the, the based on the decision that you have made with the High Priestess, talking about the star card right there, with this decision, with this plan that you've formulated and the execution that you're going to go through, this judgment call says that this decision that you've made is going to result in, in much success with the King of Wands, much success. There you go, Taurus. That is your reading. Namaste. Hello, Geminis. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot. Uh, this is a quick read about how does Gemini feel today. If you have Gemini anywhere in your chart or if you are cross-watching for somebody that has Gemini anywhere in their chart, this reading very well may resonate with you or it may not. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This particular Gemini that I'm connecting with opens this reading with the Eight of Pentacles. This Gemini wants to gain mastery of a situation. They want to work on something. The Four of Pentacles follows it and tells us that this Gemini is, is, is trying to gain control and stability of this particular situation. The Seven of Cups says this Gemini is confused about the Queen of Pentacles, about the security of this relationship with the Sun card, about the security, about the success and vitality of this particular relationship. This relationship being a love relationship with the Lover's card, being the card of Gemini, by the way. This love relationship has something to do with someone or something from your past. This Ten of Swords tells me that Gemini wants to regenerate the security in this relationship with the Ten of Pentacles. This particular Gemini is bound and determined to heal this relationship with the Four of Swords. Judgment comes in. This particular Gemini is making a judgment call. They want an absolution to the situation. They want to absolve the feelings of being confused, the feelings of insecurity, and the feelings of, um, of, um, of being defensive, you know, self-protective. The Queen of Swords says that this particular Gemini is going to speak their truth. Despite their hesitancy, their courage is going to pay off with the Six of Wands, with celebration, victory, progress, and self-confidence in the situation. There you go, Gemini. Namaste. Hi, Cancer. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a quick read about how Cancer is feeling 
today. If you have cancer anywhere in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If you're watching for someone else, if they have cancer anywhere in their chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusDartero.com. This particular cancer opens this reading thinking heavily, hard, long, and hard about the Prince of Cups, about delivering messages of their feels to somebody. The Seven of Cups comes in and tells me that this particular cancer is very confused and has a lot of internal conflict about the success of this particular relationship with the Nine of Cups. Now, the Nine of Cups is all about wishes fulfilled, comfort, happiness, and satisfaction. But with the Five of Swords preceding this card, this tells me that you are having conflict, internal conflict, and confusion about the success of the messages that you're going to carry forward about your feels. The tower comes in and says that you have some kind of an epiphany, some kind of an epiphany or a revelation that causes you to take swift action with the Eight of Wands. This swift action um, requires you or enables you to prioritize things in your life, prioritize your feels, right? Justice comes in and says that this particular cancer has spoken a truth to themselves. There is some kind of justice, truth, fairness, cause and effect, and law that takes place inside of this particular cancer. This truth that is spoken within yourself relieves you from your feelings of indecision with the Two of Swords in regards to a love relationship with the Two of Cups. This internal truth that you have spoken to yourself with justice leaves you with a feeling of extreme enthusiasm and excitement, just off the hook excited. The Five of Cups comes in and says that you are going to, um, you're going to accept, you're going to accept and forgive, you're going to walk away from the feelings of confusion and conflict. The death card comes in and says that this particular cancer is about to transition into the Queen of Cups. You're about to transition into a state of very of 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 um, well-being, right? Emotional security, calm, cool, collected, and extremely intuitive, knowing that you know that you know that this particular decision that you have made right here is where you're supposed to be and what you're supposed to be doing at this particular time in your life. There you go, Cancer. Namaste. Hello, Leo. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a quick read about how Leo is feeling today. If you're watching for yourself, if you have Leo anywhere in your chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for somebody else who has Leo anywhere in their chart, this reading may or may not resonate with you. But this is a reading about how Leo is feeling today. If you'd like a personal reading with me, you can hit me up at TaurusDartero.com. Leo enters, this particular Leo, enters into this reading making a judgment call, making some kind of a decision, with the Queen of Swords simply reiterating you are about to execute a decision in your life. This decision has you feeling um, emotionally overwhelmed, right? It, 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 it's, it has you really in your feels about the King of Pentacles, about your, your, your security, control, the power, discipline, and abundance in your life. The Eight of Pentacles comes in and says that this decision is directly related to trying to gain mastery of something in your life. Ace of Swords comes in and says that you have absolute mental clarity about what direction it is that you're going to go and how it is that you are going to handle this particular situation. Temperance comes in and says there's balance. There has been a balance applied with this mental clarity. You now have balance in the situation. What is the situation? Well, it's the lover's card. This is a card about, of course, love, harmony, relationships, values, alignment, and choices in our life. The world card comes in and says accomplishment, completion, and integration, potential travel right? So this is one life cycle ending and a new life cycle beginning right here. So this decision that you made up here that has you overwhelmed with emotion about your um, security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in your life that has you thinking long and hard about engaging, creating, gaining mastery of something, 
absolute mental clarity out of that hangman mode right there. You have um, a balance in the situation. The situation is a relationship situation in your life where a new cycle is about to take place. The Ten of Swords comes in and says there's an absolute ending to your feelings of confusion in regards to reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past. This um, inevitable end to your confusion gives you a sense of excitement, right? You're, you, and you very well may be taking passionate messages to this person from your past, but it definitely leaves you with a sense of exuberance and excitement about how you're going to move forward in the situation. The high priestess comes in and tells me that you've sat down with your intuition for a good long minute and you're really confident about this situation. The Nine of Wands comes in and says that you have courage. And the Queen of Pentacles comes in and says that, um, that you you have courage in regards to the security of the um, the security of the Queen of Pentacles. She's about she's about home, right, in the breadbasket of our life. And this Nine of Wands tells me that your courage is paying off because you will have success in regards to security about this particular situation in your life. Hi Virgo, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is a short reading about how Virgo feels today. If you are watching for yourself, if you have Virgo anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you are cross watching for a Virgo or somebody who has Virgo anywhere in their chart, this reading may also resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This particular Virgo that I'm connecting with opens this reading thinking about the, with the Emperor, the card of Aries, okay, thinking about um, authority, establishment, and structure in their life. The Star card says that this particular Virgo is thinking about renewal. Renewal in a relationship, renewal in their lives all the way around. They're contemplating their purpose. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal is the star card. The Ten of Swords comes in and says that there is an inevitable end to an injustice with the Justice card. An, in a, an, in, an ending to an injustice that this particular Virgo has had in their life in regards to the Three of Pentacles, which is teamwork and collaboration. The Princess of Swords comes in and tells us that this particular Virgo is planning, is thinking, is formulating a thought pattern to bring balance and um, prioritization into their life. This particular Virgo is going to transition into the Fool card, which is a brand new beginning and a brand new journey in your life. This particular transition is going to take some strength and some courage from you. However, with the Prince of Wands, you are filled, absolutely filled with energy and passion and action and adventure. Absolute exuberance is the result of this particular process in your life right here, Virgo. The Five of Swords comes in and says that you have left all of the conflict that you once felt about commitment with the Hierophant behind. Ace of Swords says you have absolute mental clarity about the Three of Wands, about preparing and expanding your world. The Four of Pentacles comes in and says that you have a sense of control and stability and security in the situation with the Seven of Pentacles saying that you see clearly now what it is that you need to invest in in your life. There you go, Virgo. That was your speed read. Namaste. Hi Libra, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is a quick check in about um, how Libra is feeling today. If you're watching for yourself and you have Libra anywhere in your chart, this little reading may very well resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for somebody else who has Libra anywhere in their chart, this reading may very well resonate for you as well. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This particular Libra that I'm connecting with is opening this reading with the alchemist or the magician. This is a card about taking inspired action to 
to turn over a new life cycle in their life with the world card. The Three of Swords comes in and says that this particular Libra is releasing pain and optimism and having forgiveness. And because they are doing so, the universe is rewarding them with a brand new life cycle. The Wheel of Fortune is about life cycles ending, new life cycles beginning, and a turning point in your destiny. Good luck and karma. This particular Libra is going to go through a tower moment where something is revealed to them with the high priestess that brings an end to their burden. The princess of pentacles is about manifesting a prosperous new opportunity. The princess of cups is a messenger of creative new beginnings and synchronicities in your life. The five of pentacles where you once felt insecure to the empress where you now feel abundant. The Four of Cups says that you are contemplating and reevaluating everything in your life. Temperance comes in and says, What you're contemplating and reevaluating is your life's purpose, my friend. The Prince of Wands comes in and says that you're filled with energy and passion, a lust for life, action, and adventure. You very well may even be sending some passionate messages, passionate, passionate messages to another. But regardless, you definitely feel enthusiastic and energetic about your newfound prosperity. The King of Pentacles comes in and says that this is, this is what you're doing right here, Libra. You may not be an earth energy. Of course you're not. But you are definitely feeling like the King of Pentacles. You are feeling a sense of security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in your life with the Nine of Pentacles being a culmination to all of the struggles that you may have had before in a feeling of self-sufficiency and most importantly, a feeling of gratitude to the universe for your newfound abundance. There you go, my friend. Namaste. Hello, Scorpio. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a quick check-in about how Scorpio feels today. If you have Scorpio anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you are cross-watching for a Scorpio or someone who has Scorpio anywhere in their chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This particular Scorpio enters into this reading in the hangman energy, thinking very seriously about commitment with the Hierophant card in regards to a love relationship with the Two of Cups. This love relationship may involve um, somebody that you see as a very exuberant, warm, vibrant, determined, successful personality with the Queen of Wands right there. This card also is about determination. The Four of Cups comes in and says you've been contemplating and reevaluating this whole situation for a good minute. What you're contemplating is if you can have the Ten of Cups with this person or contemplating how much you want the Ten of Cups with this person, how much you want harmony and happiness and values alignment in a relationship with this person. Strength comes in and says that you have the courage to go forward now. Three of Wands comes in and says you are preparing. You are preparing to execute on this subject matter up here, on your 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 hanged man energy in regards to commitment in a love relationship. Three of Wands, preparing to execute. The Nine of Pentacles comes in and says that there is a culmination to this situation where at one point you had a lot of insecurity, but now you understand who it is that you want to give and receive with on an equal basis with the Six of Pentacles. The Three of Pentacles comes in and says teamwork and collaboration. Nine of Swords comes in and says that you have had a painful lesson in the past in regards to a third party situation. However, at this point in the game, the King of Swords comes in and says you are about to execute a decision about reuniting or reconciling with somebody from your past that has a direct impact on the authority, establishment, structure, and control in your life. There you go. Namaste. 
Hi Sagittarius, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot. This is a quick read, a quick check-in about how Sagittarius is feeling today, right now, this very moment, whenever you may hear this. If you have Sagittarius anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for somebody and they have Sagittarius anywhere in their chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This reading opens up with this particular Sagittarius I'm connecting with thinking about a love relationship. They're thinking about walking away with the Eight of Cups from putting in any effort to try to work things out with the Eight of Pentacles. The Ten of Cups comes in and tells us that this particular Sagittarius has a misalignment of values in their relationship with the Princess of Wands saying that there is a lack of direction in this relationship. This particular Sagittarius uh, has a feeling of strength coming um, around them, has an energy of strength, because the Nine of Pentacles tells us that this Sagittarius finally has a sense of self-sufficiency with the Seven of Wands talking about, talking about um, um, feeling guarded, right? Feeling guarded about the situation and um, just, just giving up, right? G just giving up on the situation. The hangman has you thinking very, very intently about the abundance in your life, about what your wishes are, what your happiness and satisfaction, where your happiness and satisfaction lies. The hermit again has you thinking very, very deeply, doing some soul searching and some introspection about the conflict in your life, about the conflict in this relationship with the Five of Swords. This Five of Swords is also about being open to change in your life. The Six of Wands has you coming in with a sense of victory and progress and self-confidence. The Queen of Cups tells us that you are in a state of emotional security. You feel calm, cure, calm, cool, collected about the situation and your intuition is telling you that um, this is where you are supposed to be and what you are supposed to do in this particular time and situation of your life. There you go Sagittarius. Namaste. Hello Capricorn, this is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and this is a quick check-in about how Capricorn is feeling right here now today. When you hear this, if you have Capricorn anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for somebody who has Capricorn anywhere in their chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This particular Capricorn that I'm connecting with opens this reading with the Four of Cups, contemplating and reevaluating, contemplating, contemplating, reuniting, or reconciling with somebody from their past in order to start a new chapter of their life. The Nine of Pentacles comes in and says you have a sense of self-sufficiency, you have strength with strength, you have courage with the Nine of Wands, and you have persistence with the Seven of Wands. The Fool says you are about to start this new life cycle. You are about to start to take a new journey and have a new beginning in your life, which will allow you to plan for your future and manifest prosperous opportunities in your life. This leaves you in the energy of the King of Pentacles, which would be you today in this reading, Capricorn. This King of Pentacles embodies an energy of security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in their life. You are formulating a thought pattern. Pattern. You are making a plan. Two of Wands says that you're planning for your future. Temperance comes in and says that you are planning for your future and, and you have purpose, purpose in those plans. The Prince of Cups comes in and says the purpose is for you to be a knight in shining armor, metaphorical or literal knight in shining armor, man or woman, does not matter. The Queen of Cups, this is all about love and feelings. This Queen of Cups also tells us that you have emotional security. You are calm, cool, collected, and intuitive, knowing that this is the direction that you're supposed to take in your life. The King of Wands comes on top of it and says success. You feel successful. You feel um, exuberant, and you have a vision for your future. There you go, my friends. Namaste. 
Hi Aquarius, it's Dana with Taurus Star Tarot and we are about to do a quick little check-in to see how Aquarius is feeling right here now today at this very moment. If you have Aquarius anywhere in your chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for somebody and they have Aquarius anywhere in their chart, this reading may resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This particular Aquarius that I'm connecting with opens this reading with the Seven of Swords. Now the Seven of Swords is about shady behavior, but this card is also about breaking free of mental challenges, which is reiterated by the Hanged Man. So this particular Aquarius that I'm connecting with is opening this reading, breaking free from mental challenges in the Hanged Man energy, thinking quite hard about something breaking free of mental challenges, thinking about engaging, coming together with another to work on something, to gain mastery, to build something, thinking about reuniting, reuniting and reconciling with somebody from their past, where in the past one or the other has been left out in the cold. The Four of Swords comes in and tells us that um, this particular Aquarius has been contemplating taking swift action with the Eight of Wands. The Queen of Swords tells me that this Aquarius wants to speak their truth about the Ten of Pentacles, about building a future with this person. The Four of Pentacles comes in and tells me that this particular Aquarius is a little apprehensive though because this is a card about self-protection. So this Aquarius is apprehensive about speaking their truth to this person, about reconciling or reuniting with a person from their past, um, because they're feeling a little protective of themselves. Because in the past, with the Ten of Cups, in the past there has been a misalignment of values. The Nine of Wands comes in and says that this particular Aquarius is hesitant to move forward. However, in this hangman mode, they have an absolute mental breakthrough. They have absolute mental clarity about the Six of Pentacles, about who it is that they want to give and receive with on an equal basis, on a daily basis. This particular Aquarius is filled with a sense of love. This particular Aquarius would like to be somebody's metaphorical knight in shining armor or princess in shining armor, however you want to look at it, male, female, it doesn't matter. And this particular Aquarius is ready to commit to this person that they would like to reconcile or reunite with from their past. There you go, my friends. Namaste. Hello, Pisces. This is Dana with Taurus Star Tarot, and this is a quick check-in to see how Pisces is feeling right here, right now, today, the moment you watch this video. If you have Pisces anywhere in your chart, this may resonate with you. If you're cross-watching for someone and they have Pisces anywhere in their chart, this may resonate with you. If you'd like a personal reading from me, you can reach me at TaurusStarTarot.com. This reading opens with this particular Pisces that I'm connecting to, making a very serious decision in their life about who it is that they give and receive with, with the Six of Pentacles. This decision is directly related to some kind of a tower moment, some kind of an epiphany, a revelation, an awakening that opens the door for the universe to allow them to start a new life cycle. So whatever this tower moment is right here was the trigger that Pisces needed to learn whatever it was that they needed to learn in order for the universe to allow them to move into a new life cycle. This new life cycle is, um, it presents as the, as the King of Pentacles, right? It makes you feel a lot of security, control, a a power, discipline, discipline, and abundance in your life. So just to reiterate, some kind of major decision your ma uh, Pisces is making with the Six of Pentacles about who it is that they give and receive and share with on the daily, equal give and take. This decision is directly related to a tower moment, some kind of an epiphany or a revelation that lets you learn what you needed to learn from the situation. And the universe opens the door and allows you to begin a new life cycle, a life cycle that is going to give you security, control, power, discipline, and abundance in your life. 
a life cycle that's going to allow you to have a solid foundation by which to build your future. Now this tower moment, this tower moment right here is directly related to this. It's interesting because this reading is like in three different parts. Go figure. So this tower moment that happened is about love, a love relationship, somebody that you saw as a knight in shining armor who broke your heart. Eight of Swords comes in and says it caught you up in your head for a long time. It caught you up in your head for a long time. Somebody left you out in the cold, betrayed you, and play my, played mind games with you. However, now you are going to, with this new life cycle that's beginning, because of this epiphany with the tower moment, because of this decision right here, this new life cycle that's opening that is going to allow you to live like the King of Pentacles and have a solid golden foundation by which to build your future. After the heartbreak, right, being left out in the cold, conflict in mind games and betrayal, now with the Ace of Pentacles, you are about to manifest a brand new prosperous opportunity into your life. With the Sun card, hope, faith, purpose, and renewal, hence a new life cycle. The Ten of Swords, there's an absolute ending to all of the pain, all of the heartbreak, all of the feelings of insecurity, the betrayal and the mind games, and all of the, the mental trauma that you went through. There's an, there's an ending to all of the pain. And all you have in your future, Pisces, is a brand new life cycle with, with security, control, power, discipline, and abundance. With the Ten of Pentacles, a golden opportunity by which to build your future upon. You're going to manifest new, prosperous things in your life. Hope, faith, purpose, and renewal is on the horizon for you. And there is an absolute ending to the pain that you experienced with these um, six cards right here. All right, there you go. Namaste, my friend.